Do you want to find out where the most common radiator leak is? Well, stay tuned and keep watching and you'll find out. Alright guys, so today we're going to be changing our radiator bypass hose and I'm going to freeze frame it right here. It's been leaking right at this little joint right here. You can see some of the build up right there at that arrow. So all this job is going to take is some pliers, a screwdriver, and maybe a drain pan. And also, I didn't have show it here, but we're also looking for a rag. So here in this uh, Chevy, they make the highest point in the radiator system the bypass hose so if you wanted to take it off um, it, you wouldn't have to drain all of the fluid so you could either do what I'm doing here and just have a little catch pan or a drip pan which it's not very much fluid you'll see or if you wanted to do it more of the professional way you could just flush your entire radiator fluid while you're doing this you go to your radiator um, at the bottom of your radiator there is a little drain valve and you open it up and you drain it all out and then there's a whole different process um, different type of process for that but I'm just gonna do it the the easy man's way here and then top off my my uh, my coolant with extra fluid so it's pretty simple here um, just take some pliers and take a screwdriver and w wiggle this guy off and then make sure you have your catch pan there or if you just want to put a rag underneath to absorb it all you can see there's not very much fluid just do it uh, just be careful you don't want to drain it all make it spill all over um, your serpentine belt and then you have it slip which isn't good so we got the first little piece off now we're looking at the second Again, just a screwdriver and a pair of pliers here. You can see some of the fluid started leaking out. Um, I did the best I could to clean it up. Uh, I didn't have a rag at first. Uh, that was probably one of my first mistakes. Just make sure you have a rag with you. And uh, since I broke that one clip, I had to uh, go get a set of hose clamps. And I think these probably would work better anyway because they're not old or rusted and those other clips were probably worn out anyway so that's probably why it was leaking so real quick and simple hope you guys liked it and please subscribe and thanks for watching